chemistry was removed from the nuclear operator's planet. You now must rely on the medicine you have and what you can purchase. There is still a grinder, though, so you could grind up the pills that come with the planet. The stimulant chemical was nerfed, which means stim packs and the stim kits were nerfed, and the experimental stim pack was removed. Not like anyone really used it anyway. Stim packs now only last for 30 seconds, where stim kits will last for 15 seconds. Otherwise, there was no other change. The stimulants still do exactly what they did before. You run faster, recover from stuns really quickly. Cargo bounties are added to the game. They can be found at the cargo bounty computer. All you do is you interact with it, and the bounties will change pretty consistently. And all you have to do is print the label. Which will give you the bounty manifest. This one needs three times soap. So you take your three soap, you put it in the box, you close said box. For this one, you would take the soap and put it in the box, but um, you can't put soap in a box. So you could do something like 10 syringes. So you get 10 syringes, put it in a box, close it up, and you stick the bounty manifest on it. And all you do is you sell it. And if you shift click the box, it'll say item manifest syringe times 10. And you probably want to double check it. And to complete the bounty, all you gotta do is put it on one of these cargo pallets and sell it. Item stacks have been changed, so now items weigh proportionally heavy depending on their stack size. So if you have 30 metal rods, it'll weigh 30. If you split that in half, it'll weigh 15. Problem is, your inventory doesn't update right away, so that probably needs to be fixed, but either way, that's somewhat minor. But yeah, if you, if you split in your inventory, your backpack doesn't recognize the correct size at right away, but if you try to just update it, it'll be fine. The energy shield is added to the game. It is a syndicate and nuclear operative shield that has basically a guaranteed chance to reflect laser weaponry, but it is also a very durable shield. And yeah, you do not want to shoot an energy shield with a laser weapon or else you want to end up hitting yourself by accident. Atmos fire suit was buffed and now protects a whopping 85% heat damage, where the Atmos hard suit now only protects 60 but uh something to keep in mind though is that the atmos hard suit helmet protects 80 percent where the atmos fire helmet only protects 50 so the hard suit is still better against heat and uh just a quick note i think the person who pr'd this might have made a mistake there because the atmos hard suit is still better in that regard, so there still isn't much benefit of wearing the fire suit over the fa other than the fact that he moves ever so slightly faster. New contraband and emagged inventories have been added to s certain vending machines. The two more notable ones, for example, is if you emag a lodge room, you can get a cyber sun pen out of it, and if you snip the manager wire out of a U-tool, you can get a multi-tool out of it. Artifexium has been added to the game. In order to obtain Artifexium, you must get an artifact fragment and you juice it in a blender. What Artifexium does is if you put it in like a spray bottle or something equivalent and spray it on an artifact, it will activate it. So for example, this one is a sonic vibration. Well, obviously I don't have that on me. If I spray it with Artifexium, it will activate it. So this will help Scientists get through tougher nodes on artifacts because some of them are much more difficult than others Bleeding has again received another change basically to quickly sum it up is that you will bleed faster and bleed more But you recover from it faster and you can't bleed as much over a longer period of time meaning bleeding is more lethal in the short term like this person's already taken blood loss from 40 slash damage and you'll take the blood loss significantly quicker, but you will also clot faster, meaning that you will start regaining your blood passively uh, faster. Blood loss is more of a problem in short-term combat, but it is less of a problem after combat. So 40 slash damage results in about 18 blood loss, but if you don't go down because of it, you will naturally start regaining the damage back fairly quickly, meaning that if you win the fight and don't bleed out, you will be fine relatively quickly, as long as you're not getting continually cut, which, in that case, that's probably a different issue. The Salvage Magnet now has a chance of pulling in asteroids instead of salvage wreckages. These asteroids are extremely dense on ores, and they have all the ores in the game. So even in this cluster, I can see artifact fragments, I can see quartz, steel, plasma, uranium, gold, and bananium. 
That was all I'm going to cover for now. There was some cool stuff as always over the week and some interesting balance decisions and changes that could have a big impact on the game overall. We're just going to have to wait and see. I want you to thank all of our maintainers and contributors for keeping the game up to date and polished and all that good stuff. And as always, if I didn't cover it, doesn't mean that's insignificant or anything. I just didn't feel the need to make it part of a video vlog. Thank you for watching.